Well, it is February 16th, 2022. It is good to be with you here in the Ministries of Trinity. If you've been with us in worship, you know we're talking about being connected. This past week we talked about being connected through caring for each other, loving each other. If you missed that, go to our YouTube page, check it out. Great message, five languages of love, which are totally biblical of just how we show care. Uh, this week, as we move forward with Connected, this upcoming weekend, we're talking about how God's Word uh, connects us, how God's Word connects us, how God's Word changes us. And, and so since we're going there, let's go into God's Word. Uh, we are going to the Gospel of Matthew uh, together, and certainly God knows what's going on in your heart and your mind. He knows everything that's going on, and I pray that His Word speaks to you right now. And so we're Matthew chapter 14, Jesus walks on water. It says, immediately Jesus made the disciples get into the boat and go on ahead of him to the other side while he dismissed the crowd. After he dismissed them, he went up to a mountainside by himself to pray. When evening came, he was there alone, but the boat was already considerably distanced from land, buffeted by the waves because the wind was against it. During the fourth watch of the night, middle of the night, Jesus went out to them, walking on the lake. When the disciples saw him walking on the lake, they were terrified. It's a ghost, they said, and cried out in fear. But Jesus immediately said to them, Take courage, it is I. Do not be afraid. Lord, if it's you, Peter replied, tell me to come to you on the water. Come, he said. Then Peter got down out of the boat, walked on the water, and came toward Jesus. But when Peter saw the wind, he was afraid. And beginning to sink, cried out, Jesus, save me. And immediately Jesus reached out his hand and caught him. I don't know what's going on in your heart and your mind, um, but what's going on here, there's a lot going on there. Certainly Jesus shows us the authority that he does have, but there's a moment with Peter. Right? Peter sees Jesus walking on the water, and not just the water, but in the middle of a storm. Right, The wind and the waves were against the boat. That means there are some big waves in the Sea of Galilee, and Jesus is actually walking on top of that. Right, And I love that Jesus is in the darkness. Right, The light is in the darkness walking on it. I love that Jesus invites Peter, without bringing the boat to shore, without stopping the storm, without bringing the sun up, he invites him to walk on water with him. Right? What an amazing moment. Certainly there are so many truths there. What I love uh, perhaps the most today as I think about my own life and I think about perhaps what you are going through. Right? Jesus calls us not to sit in the storm, not to sit in the darkness, not to sit in our fear, not to sit in our fear of discouragement, right? but to actually take a stand, to stand up on the problem, to take a stand on the problem. Right? And so I don't know what problem you're facing. I don't know where the wind and the waves are, what the darkness is, but Jesus calls us, calls me, calls you, right? to take a stand, right? to get on top of that water with him. And yes, Peter sank, and yes, you and I sink every day, but well, I love it and I pray that you're a person of faith, right? A person of faith says, Jesus, I need you. I need you always, not just in this storm. And what we know as people of faith that Jesus is always right there with us, helping us stand, helping us stand on the problem, helping us stand on the mountain and to move forward with courage. So whatever it is that you're going through, I pray that you take courage and that God enables you to walk on the problem. Right, to have courage to get outside of the boat and that he continues to save you. God has a plan for you. He has a purpose. And I pray you stay connected to him and through your connection to him and his word, right, that you get connected deeper uh, to others. In Jesus' name, amen.